Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to Pennsylvania Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome lineup of institutions for you to hear from this evening. And I just have a couple of quick housekeeping items to go over before we get started. Number one, this is a webinar. So your camera and your microphone are off. So our panelists cannot see or hear you this evening. Number two, um, even though this is the last session tonight, there are more sessions tomorrow. I hope that you love the format of tonight's program, and that will encourage you to sign up to learn about more colleges tomorrow. This is being recorded, and the playback will be available on um, strivescan.com slash Pennsylvania within one week. And finally, we know that you're going to have questions, so make sure you're not that you don't hesitate to put those questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen type out your question and then also note the college or university that you're hoping or that you're directing your question to so that they can answer appropriately. And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our panelists. First up, you have the opportunity to hear from Ohio Wesleyan. Whenever you're ready, Dave. Okay. Looks great, you're ready to go. Okay, thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dave Froman. I'm Associate Director of Admission at Ohio Wesleyan. This is a picture of the east side of our campus, our 200 acre campus in uh, Delaware, Ohio. And here's some demographic information about uh, OWU as we affectionately refer to ourselves. And uh, you can see the numbers there, a little over 1400 students, uh, small classes, uh, a lot of attention from the faculty with a small student faculty ratio. Our students do a lot of volunteer service. You can see the high number of our students who have multiple majors. And 91% uh, of our recent grads uh, had an OWU connection experience. We're gonna talk a little more about the OWU connection here in just a moment. And um, we are one of the colleges that uh, change lives also. I might mention that, that was not listed, but we are one of the CTCL colleges. Uh, the OWU connection. So. You have small classes, you have a lot of personal attention, but what we really hang our hat is on the OWU connection, which would be all of your out of class experiences. So we're talking about internships, research, study abroad, travel learning, and the foundation of the OWU connection is these three things, think big, go global, and get real. Um, and as far as thinking big, interdisciplinary programs and research, we have interdisciplinary cl classes like this one, Amy Downing is standing, uh, there and she is a zoology professor and Craig Jackson is a math professor and they te teach an interdisciplinary class that looks at how mathematical modeling can uh, help to better understand marine ecosystems. That's just one example. We have a number of interdisciplinary majors and interdisciplinary classes like this. So think big, go global. Uh, global perspective and culture, uh, cultural immersion through travel. Uh, over 70% of our students have an abroad experience at some point during their time as OWU students. This particular picture is of our island biology class and they take most of their class in Delaware, Ohio, our home base, but then the last couple of weeks they spent in the Galapagos Islands. And this is a picture of the class in the Galapagos. Get real, have robust ex practical experiences. That would include research and internships. This particular picture is of Tom Dolan, a recent graduate who now works on uh, Capitol Hill. He works in the House of Representatives and he had an internship as part of his Wesleyan and Washington experience, which led directly to this job. So a high percentage of our students have internships, many do research, and these are the types of opportunities you have as Ohio Wesleyan OWU students. Here's a, an example of one of our students and her multiple journeys through the OWU connection. You've got uh, Eva Blockstein from Maryland. She had a major in zoology, minor in fine arts and environmental so studies. And you can see a couple of travel learning experiences, several internships. She wrote a couple of grant proposals and had the grants approved and was able to do research on Panamanian frogs and uh, on a cast iron art practices uh, furnace in, uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. And she now is a field technician with the National Ecological Observatory Network in Alaska. So an example of the connection journeys that ended up. 
Um, our five most popular majors, politics and government, health and human kinetics. Um, we have zo zoology, business, and psychology also amongst our top five. Zoology is actually our second most popular major and is, uh, is second to business and econ, anything business and econ related being the top most popular major. Smith Hall is the first year hall. It's being totally renovated. Half of it was renovated last year. The other half is being renovated this year. It will be fully occupied with first year students in the fall. We also working or have worked on our indoor arena, which is pictured there, the Branch Ricky Arena. And we have senior apartments, which was a new building on campus, which will house 126 seniors in apartment style living. And that will be open this coming fall. Important factors listed here in terms of the uh, application review. We use the common application. We do a holistic review of the application. Our cost, $62,000, tuition, fees, room and board. But you can see with the amount of aid we give, almost $45,000 on average, you can see that that considerably brings down the cost for our students. We have an automatic scholarship. We are totally test optional. For our scholarships, we are test blind. You do not have to submit your, 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 your test scores. And for students with a 3.6 or higher, there's a $30,000 automatic scholarship. That's about half of our total cost. It's called Branch Rickey Scholarship. Branch Rickey happens to be the gentleman pictured here with Jackie Robinson. Branch Rickey was an Ohio Wesleyan graduate. He integrated baseball. He signed Jackie Robinson to the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. We also have other scholarships in art, theater, community service scholarships, music scholarships, and we have full tuition scholarships called the Schubert, and we also have the Wesleyan scholarships, which are $40,000 a year. Uh, I'll put my contact information into the uh, chat. We're open for uh, live in-person visits now. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to reach out to me. We hope to see you on campus. Good luck the rest of your school year. Thank you very much. Dave, thank you so much to you and West Ohio Wesleyan University. That presentation was great. Um, audi audience, please don't hesitate to put those questions in the Q&A. Our panelists are eager to answer those questions and you don't have to wait for the institution to present to put your question in the, in the Q&A. Next up, I am so excited to introduce to you Marywood University. Whenever you're ready, Maria. All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Maria. I'm presenting about uh, Marywood University. So I'm actually an undergraduate admissions counselor at Marywood. Some fast facts about Marywood. So we have about 1,900 undergraduate students and about 1,000 graduate students. I always say we're at about a 3,000 student sweet spot where we have a wonderful sense of community on campus. And we also, you're always gonna have the opportunity to see a familiar face on campus. But at the same time, we have over a hundred clubs and organizations on campus. You always have the opportunity to meet somebody new and do something new. As you can see, we have a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. Um, you're gonna see about 20 to 25 students in your major class and about 30 to 35 in your general education classes. We don't have any huge lecture halls, so we cap it at about 30, 35 students, and we don't have any teaching assistants. Professors teach all of our classes. Um, and as you can see, our first year retention rate um, and our six year graduation rate are uh, consistently um, higher than national average from day one. So from your very first day, your very first semester at Marywood, no matter what your major is, you're going to be diving into your major. For our architecture students, that looks like a design problem their very first day and studio classes on um, their very first semester. For nutrition, it looks like a basic food lab where you're in the lab creating food, taking nutrition classes. For nursing, you're diving into your um, the lab that we have on campus for education. You're in the classroom. Um, so it's a really cool experience to just dive right into your major. Student life. Like I said, we have over 100 clubs and organizations on campus. They range from department clubs to social clubs to service clubs. We have tons of leadership opportunities like student government, honor societies, orientation, resident assistance, and we have a really robust um, campus ministry. So even though we are Catholic, um, we are open to everybody and our campus ministry connect you to any services, even if they aren't Catholic, you can participate in any service. And we have a lot of different fellowship um, opportunities and Bible study opportunities as well. 
an on campus. Um, so, you know, believe it or not, bingo is actually a really popular event on campus. Unfortunately, um, even during COVID, we have transitioned our bingos and our game shows and our trivia nights virtually. We've even done socially distant goat yoga outside and our athletic tournaments socially distant outside. Um, bigger events that happen in normal times are carnivals and formals, flapjack fest where professors make you breakfast every um, finals week, and Marywood Madness is our prep rally that we have every single um, uh, every single year. Fingers crossed we return to that soon. So fun off campus. So we're located in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, so we have a lot going on in our area. We're about five minutes from downtown Scranton. That's where your local coffee shops are, your local boutiques, local restaurants, tons of food festivals and parades. We're about 10 minutes from Dixon City, which is the shopping district. So chain restaurants, chain stores, mall, everything like that. Montage Mountain is close by about 10, 15 minutes. So skiing, snowboarding, snow tubing in the winter and water park concert venue in the summer. Um, there's also shopping there, dining. And I always like to highlight the Yankee AAA affiliate team, the Rail Riders play there. And that's where Major League Yankees rehabilitate. So for a $10 ticket, you can see a Major League player. Marywood trips off campus. This is a big thing that we do in normal times. Again, fingers crossed, hopefully we'll get back to this soon. Um, but we do about once a month an off-campus bus trip, usually themed to the time of year, New York at Christmas, um, amusement parks, whitewater rafting in the warmer months. Um, so this is always a neat opportunity to get off campus. Study abroad. We also have tons of study abroad opportunities at Marywood, um, even for structured majors like architecture and nutrition. Um, it can be a little bit harder to study abroad during the semester, so we built it in. So architecture students, we have an established connection with a school in Florence, Italy. So all of our juniors go over to Florence for an entire semester. Um, so no matter what your major is, you're able to study abroad. If you don't want to go for an entire semester, we have faculty led trips that go over spring break. You take a class like travel writing and then you're able to go over to Ireland for an entire Entire week during spring break and learn about travel writing and actually do it. We also have summer trips where you're able to, you know, maybe take a class or two and then go over to a different country for about a month or two um, over the summer. We are a division three school and so we have a wonderful kind of sport academic balance on campus. Our uh, Professors are pretty flexible. Our coaches focus on study halls. We've actually won awards because we have such high GPAs um, and we have 22 varsity sports teams that you're able to compete in. The admissions process. Um, so we are rolling admissions, which means we don't have any firm deadlines. So if you are looking to go to school in fall of 2021, we are still uh, taking applications. If you're a junior right now, we'll kind of go through the process. Um, so to apply to Marywood, you need a completed application, an official high school transcript, and one letter of recommendation. For our fall of 2021 applicants, we are test optional. Fingers crossed for fall of 22 applicants will be test optional again, but an official decision hasn't been made yet. So once you, all of your materials are in, it usually takes about five to 10 business days for a turnaround time. Um, so typically our Common App opens or our Marywood application, both are free, open up in August, um, and then we start reviewing them in September. But like I said, if you're a fall of 21 applicant, go ahead and apply and you'll hear in about a week or two from us. We also have scholarship opportunities. So with your decision letter, you'll actually get a merit-based scholarship letter. Um, they range from about 16 to $23,000 per year and tons of our students get financial aid. We try to give as much scholarship based on merit and financial aid that we possibly can. So get to know us more. So we are open for in-person visits and tours. We also have an admitted students month in April where we're gonna be able to do um, in-person department meetings and financial aid meetings. Um, we also have tons of opportunities for virtual appointments, virtual tours. We have admissions info nights, financial aid info nights, and we're on Instagram daily on our Marywood Instagram. This is my contact information. I will drop it in the chat. So if you have any questions, please let me know and please contact me. And then if you're interested in Marywood, please feel free to follow us on social media. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Maria, thank you so much to you and Marywood University. Isn't this a fun way to learn about different colleges and universities? We still have several to go. And up next, I'd like to introduce to you um, Teal College. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Morgan Bonner. I am one of our assistant directors of admissions in the office and give me a minute here once I get pulled up and started. Okay. Maybe, once, maybe if we can get going here, there we go. Okay, so, um, you know, so welcome to our virtual campus uh, at this point today um, for this evening. So Teal, we are um, 
a small private liberal arts institution located in Greenville, Pennsylvania. We're a little over 150 years old. Um, and we are affiliated with the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to be Lutheran or anything like that. Those are just our backgrounds uh, that comes along with it there. Uh, there on the screen, you'll find Tommy the Tomcat. He's our mascot. We're one of the only colleges and universities with a Tomcat as our mascot across the whole US. Uh, so definitely something that makes us unique there. Like I said, we're a small school. So we have uh, about 11 to one student to faculty ratio. Our average class size is 14. We have about 800 students currently on campus. So it makes it nice. You get to know your professors and they really get to know you as well too, as well as the rest of the staff and the rest of the Teal College community and family. So what is it that actually makes Teal College different uh, in relation to all the other schools that we're hearing from today? Um, we, like I mentioned, we are a family. Uh, we're here in order to uh, ensure that our students are going out and they're doing exactly what they want to be doing when they want to be doing it and they're being the the best student, the the best uh, community member and the best, you know, just United States citizen and, you know, and all that other fun stuff and employee that they can be. So we get you there um, with our community that we have already on campus. So we have study tables, you know, so if uh, you're having a little bit of difficulty with a course, anybody can uh, go to those study tables and, and get some assistance from a, a student who took the class in the past um, or have, you know, a one on one tutor as well, too. And it's all free for our students, our academic coaches, they'll help you stay on track and and figure out the studying process that works best for you. Um, our professors have office hours. Um, we don't have graduate assistants that teach our courses. Um, we do have master programs, but uh, all of our classes are taught by our professors specifically. So they just sit there and, you know, during their office hours and to get some work done, but wait for our students to come and ask questions uh, in order to go directly to the professor. Um, we do have work study options as well, too, to help you out a little bit financially um, when it comes to that. So we want to make sure our students are set and ready to go the whole way around. Um, over the last few years, we've put um, uh, just about uh, $40 million back into campus and renovations and new facilities and such. Our James Pettus Communication Center was built in 2014. Right now, um, we have uh, some new labs for our new Physician Assistant Master's Program and Speech Language Pathology Master's Program. Um, those are underway right now. Uh, next is uh, our Academic Center and uh, our Athletic Facilities. So those are just a few things there on our docket. Um, in the last few years as well, too, we did open up our new, a new science building as well with new chemistry and biology labs. So some different majors that we do have, we offer things in the sciences, psychology, criminal justice, business, communication, you know, those types of things. Um, but over the last uh, about two years, we've added all of these programs. So on the undergraduate side, data analytics, which is just huge and growing uh, uh, exponentially, uh, especially in the business world right now, sports management, exercise science, health systems, public policy, environmental safety management, that's cool. Uh, it, it hit takes all of the environmental and biology side of things with the safety and the business side and puts it all together. And that is a huge growing field that is an extremely high demand right now. Uh, nursing, um, we, it is our newest program right now. We're just now accepting applications for that. It'll be up and going here this fall. Um, on the graduate side, speech language pathology and a master's in business administration um, are our first master's programs that we have uh, added onto our docket. They added with us uh, and joined us last summer. Really cool programs. Uh, physician assistant will start here this summer and counseling is on its way as well too. So we have um, passed for the graduate side of things uh, as well for our current students, as well as a five-year track. So you can actually apply for these right now in high school and secure your spot for a master's program uh, in these fields. So you don't have to worry about going through that application process in your senior year. In the classroom, majority, like I said, majority of our students, you know, our classes, they're pretty small. There are 70% of our students or our classes have 20 students or less. 
Um, you're getting hands-on experience and hands-on internship right in the classroom. Um, you know, our business students, they're, they're doing real audits and real business plans, you know, when it comes to that research, everybody has the opportunity to do research. It's a big thing right now. Our psych students are sending out all kinds of different surveys of, you know, would, how would you react for this, you know, and seeing how you would react for that, um, you know, and everybody has the opportunity to do it as well as that free tutoring uh, in regards to that as well. Everybody has a lot of opportunities on campus. We have an honors program as well too that gets our, our students out and learning uh, with some different learning and research opportunities. And the cool thing is, is 100% of our students have an internship while they're with us here at Teal. They start as early as second semester. Some of them are paid, some of them are on campus, some are off. That's totally up to you. Our goal is for you to have three to four with a solid resume by the time you graduate. So that right now has put us at a 95% job placement rate. I will say that is job in your field or graduate school within six months after graduation. And a few of our majors, they are accounting and education. Uh, have 100% as well too. So study, study abroad is also an option that you can hang out off campus as well. Students from all over the place, as you can see there, um, housing on campus, as well as over 60 clubs and organizations, Greek life organizations, as well as 24 division three varsity sports. Next steps for anybody, uh, we are rolling admissions. You can apply for free on our website and I just need your high school transcripts. And then we'll get your FAFSA information and determine what your merit scholarships could be up to $21,500 a year. If you have any questions, let us know. I will drop all my information in the chat. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Morgan, to you and Teal College. Next up, you have the opportunity to hear from Earlham College. Hello, everybody. It's so nice to be with you. Um, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Is this going to go? Yes. Okay, great. Looking <laughs> Carlin great. College is located in Richmond, Indiana. We are um, between Indianapolis, Indiana, and Dayton, Ohio. The closest airport is in Dayton. We have students from over 45 states and territories and from over 50 countries. 22% of our students are domestic multicultural students and another 20% are international students. So even though we're in the Midwest, we are a very diverse student body um, that lends us to our in, international um, global influences and connections. So we have our international student body, we have international professors, we have opportunities for you to study abroad for a whole semester to do an internship. And we have alumni living all over the world. We are a Quaker institution and have um, focus on respect for persons, integrity, simplicity, commitment to peace and justice and community decision-making. And that creates a very um, unusual context in which you'll have your education. You don't ever have to call your professors by doctor or Mr. or professor, it's always by first name, which allows for very different kinds of conversations to happen for you. And then um, we are part of the um, colleges that change lives as well. So we're very proud of that. We've been in every edition of the book. We have over 40 majors and minors. Um, as you can see here, our largest programs are biology, biochemistry, neuroscience, um, computer science, global management, and psychology. And you can major, double major, major, minor, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. We really want you to be able to um, create the journey that you want to have through your undergraduate experience. Um, we do also have, for those of you who might be interested in being a teacher, we have a three plus one um, education program where you can do your undergraduate in three years, your uh, master's of arts in teaching in a year, and you're ready to be a teacher after four years. So see me about that if that's of interest to you. The magic happens in the classroom. Um, the average class size is about 13. Our student to faculty ratio is nine to one. We throw these numbers at you all the time, and I always like to encourage students to think about what does that mean and why that's important. It's important because it means how um, accessible are the professors to you and how often will your voice be able to be heard in the classroom. If you're in a class of 500 people, rarely will your voice ever be heard. But if you're in a smaller class, there'll be time for your questions. 
We have been noted by the Princeton Review for the past several years running as having one of the best classroom experiences. We have an EPIC program, which is the Erlen program for an integrated curriculum. Uh, through that program, you're guaranteed funding up to $5,000. That would be in addition to your merit scholarship and need-based grant to have an internship or a research opportunity one time during your time at Erlen. We've had students all over the world in 2019. We had students doing internships in 22 states and 18 countries around the world. Um, we're Division Three Athletics. Um, was about 65% of our students do participate in athletics, um, intramurals and varsity alike. We have over 60 clubs and organizations and they're all were started by students at some point. So if there's something that you really want to have happen and we don't have it, you can write a proposal to make it happen. You're guaranteed housing for all four years of your time at Earlham. We have eight residence halls. We have theme houses and friendship houses and apartments. We do not have um, sororities or fraternities. We would rather include people instead of exclude people. Our admissions process, we use a common app or um, our own application. So your essay, um, which is really a chance for you to shine light on who you are as a person. Um, we need your transcript. We are test score optional. You do not have to submit your SAT or ACT. You can if you like. And um, then the information from your school. We award merit scholarships to students based on your grades and your test scores. That's an automatic um, consideration as we read your application. And then the rest of your financial aid would be based on the FAFSA, or if you're an international student on the ISFA. And um, our financial aid officers are very, very willing to talk to you and help you. We do have um, special um, scholarship day available for those students interested in art, um, theater, community service, and diversity. And But you need to apply by the regular decision deadline. So Earlham's big promise to you is um, that through our, um, as a collaborative learning community, we will inspire and motivate you through transformative opportunities and experience to be a catalyst for good in a changing world. Our mission is to create leaders for the future to make the world a better place. Thanks so much, Susan, to you and Earlham College. Our final presentation tonight will be from Pacific University, Oregon. Perfect. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome from Oregon out on the other side of the country right now. I think I get the pleasure of being the furthest from, uh, from Pennsylvania today, which is a lot of fun. But my name is Derek, and I'm actually your admissions counselor here at Pacific University. And so what that means is when you apply to Pacific, I'm actually the guy who's on the other end answering the phone, reading your application and working with you through the whole process. So it's really great to meet all of you. Now, Pacific University itself is located out in Oregon as our name implies. We are a small private university out in Forest Grove. So Forest Grove itself is a little bit smaller city, about 26,000 people. It's located about 25 miles west of Portland. So if you've ever been out to Oregon and you drove from Oregon out to the coast, you drove right by us and had no idea. It's a really amazing area where you can be in downtown watching a professional basketball game, going to Powell's Books in 30 minutes. But if you turn around and go the other direction, we're only an hour from the Oregon coast. And that's four different beaches out on the Oregon coast. So a lot of our students love to refer to Pacific as their home base. They do a lot of day trips into Portland, out to the coast, up to Mount Hood, being able to explore the outdoors in the Pacific Northwest that you see behind me but then being able to come home to their own bed in their own college in a small town where it's a little bit more like family. Now, that being said, we still have amazing opportunities being next to what's called the Silicon Forest. So this is a growing business area in Portland with places like Nike, Xerox, Columbia, Intel, all their world headquarters are right next to campus. So you're gonna get that amazing mix of outdoors, Pacific Northwest, and the ability to connect with the big city and those opportunities that come along with it. And at Pacific, we offer over 65 different majors, minors, and programs. We're best known for the pre-health professions. So pre-med, pre-optometry, pre-physical therapy. We do extremely well in those, and we have graduate schools in those programs as well. So that's where we kind of get heard from. But what you might not know is that we also have nationally and regionally ranked creative writing, business, education, social work, and political science programs. So you are going to be able to find what you want to study here at Pacific, 
even if that means coming in undecided. In fact, about a third of our students will come in undecided and still be able to graduate in those four years. And that's really important to us, that it's all of the majors are open to these opportunities. And at Pacific, we are a smaller school. We have about 1,900 undergraduate students and about 2,000 graduate students. They're primarily on a separate campus, a little bit away from the undergrad campus. So that first four years, you're in small classes. Average class is only 19 students. Our large lecture halls seat 60 students. So I always joke that if you're trying to hide in class or you don't really want to be called on, Pacific's not a great fit because your professors here are going to know your name, where you're from. They're going to know your sports stats if you're on a team or how you did in your last orchestra concert because we want you connected with our professors. And in fact, at Pacific, 100% of our classes are taught by professors. They are still amazing people who know what they're talking about and want to pass on that knowledge, but they want to be teaching. And that's one big difference you'll find with Pacific where you still have these amazing opportunities to research and do those things, but the professors are there because they love teaching. And our guarantee to our students, because I know this is a big commitment when you're looking at a school, is that we guarantee a four-year education here at Pacific for your bachelor's degree. Not 50 years, six years, or victory laps, but you can come in as a student, whether you want to be an athlete, study abroad, or major in a pre-health profession, you can do that in four years while you're at Pacific. And so again, that's our guarantee to you, that you get a four-year amazing education. And when you walk away from Pacific, you don't just walk away with a handshake, a good luck, and a diploma. Yes, you've learned that really important information. But on top of that, we've added in the knowledge to make sure that you have a full resume to back that up. With job shadowing research and internships starting your freshman year, again, at places like Nike or Xerox or Clean Water Services. So those students, when they walk out of here, have real life experiences to talk about in their interviews when they go on to that next step, whatever that might be. But we know our students also need a little bit of a break and we love our students to be active. In fact, our average student Pacific is involved in three clubs or sports that have nothing to do with what they're studying. So whether that means joining some of our 70 different clubs and organizations on campus where you will find your identity, your group of people that you fit in with and can build on that and experience that while you're here. Maybe that means performing in music, dance or theater where you do not need to major or minor to be part of it. You just need to be part uh, to want to play in part of that or being part of our 24 varsity NCAA division three sports, 20 intramural or 10 club sports. About a quarter of our students are varsity athletes and about a third are athletes on campus. So it's a very interesting campus where you get to see people do a lot of different things. We also want you to take that education outside of the classroom, whether that means studying abroad in 27 sites around the country, being able to go into the Pacific Northwest with our outdoor pursuits office and maybe earn an outdoor leadership minor or just go on a trip and learn how to surf on the Oregon coast or give back through community service. We know all of this is very important to our students and so we wanna build on that. Now, the whole application process, like I said, I'm the one who's gonna be on the other end of it for you. And it's important for you to know that at Pacific, we have no in-state or out-of-state tuition and no in-state or out-of-state scholarships. All students are given the same opportunity to come to Pacific. As far as academic merit scholarships go, you're gonna apply through the common application. We'll need your application, your letter of recommendation and a high school transcript. And based on your academic profile, so we're gonna holistically review that application, you're gonna be awarded academic merit scholarship at Pacific. Again, it doesn't matter what state you're from. It also doesn't matter um, what your parents make. Ours are need blind. Our merit scholarships range from 15 to $27,000 per year for all four years you're here at Pacific. There's also opportunities if you're a senior um, to be able to do a senior preview scholarship day. Right now they're virtual, but next fall they'll be back in person and you can come out to campus and uh, visit and earn a scholarship that way. Or take part in some of our music, dance and theater opportunities there as well. We are test optional, which means you do not need to turn in test scores to Pacific. If you feel that you've taken the test and you really wanna include those because it makes a better application, go right ahead. We are glad to see those. And do also know that we are still accepting applications and awarding merit scholarship for this fall. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm glad to talk to you about Oregon, about Pacific University and about that whole process. And again, please feel free to put questions into the Q&A. We're glad to answer those there as well. Eric, thanks so much to you and um, Pacific University in Oregon. So unfortunately, our friends from the University of Wyoming were able to join us. But I am going to have these experts um, tell the, get to tell you a little bit more about their institution. So I'm going to um, ask that they all turn back on their cameras and we're going to go round robin in the same order that they presented. And um, if you could let us know what's your favorite event or tradition on campus and we'll start with um, Ohio Wesleyan first. Thank you, Courtney. Um... 
There are many, but I'd say my favorite is the iCube lectures that our professors do. It's uh, ideas, insight, and imagination. And the iCube lectures happen every year. In the spring, the students, uh, there's a poll and the students select the professors who are gonna do the presentation, 10 of them do the presentation in the fall. And it is streamed and it's in a packed auditorium, streamed live and a very special gathering where students, students get to hear and faculty and staff get to hear one minute, three, three minute presentations by a selection of uh, 10 of our top professors as chosen by the, uh, the students. Thank you. Is it kind of like the last lecture? That's kind of what it sounds like a little bit. Fun. I don't know the last lecture, but oh, it, it, <laughs> very fun. Next up, um, Maria from Mary Marywood. Yeah, so my favorite Mary Wood um, tradition slash event that we have is our Christmas tree lighting. So we have a beautiful rotunda on our campus in one of our buildings. I believe it's like the third biggest rotunda in the state of Pennsylvania with millions of dollars worth of artwork in it. And so it's absolutely gorgeous. And so we put a huge Christmas tree in there every single Christmas. Um, we had ours outdoors this time, but normally we put them in, we put it inside. Um, all of our clubs and organizations hand make ornaments for the trees. Our choir and musicians, they go on the top floor um, and they're singing Christmas carols and playing Christmas carols. Everybody from campus comes, we are multi-generational. So we have an elementary school, a daycare, um, and then kind of like a senior care on campus. So everybody comes to campus, the local community community brings their children and we have um, the tree lighting where the president counts down and usually a local um, child is the one who lights the tree and our dining um, brings you know cider and cookies um, so I always say that event kind of makes the Marywood community almost feel tangible. I'll say uh, I think one of my favorite events on campus is a whole weekend. So it's not necessarily one big event, uh, <laughs> that type of thing, but it's a bunch of little events as we go through. Like I said, we're a small school, so we don't even, when it, people say big, you know, <laughs> that <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, my dog is uh, enjoying our big, you know, hand raise uh, with me. Um, but we, it's our welcome weekend when we welcome all of our students back to campus. Um, we have everything from food trucks all over the place uh, to paintball tournaments. And, you know, like there's all kinds of things. The marching band is playing, the choir is singing, you know, like those types of things. It's just so cool to see everybody come together. Um, there's a football practice that everybody can go and watch because, you know, on Friday night, you know, there isn't too much going on except for getting ready, you know, without pads, you know, that type of thing uh, during the fall. Um, and then also too, then on Saturday, there's normally always a home football game. Uh, everybody's out, you know, tailgating. We have our, our food services on campus. They take all the food outside of the cafeteria and, you know, that's just where you eat lunch <laughs> that day. Um, and, and, you know, and it's a big, you know, block party type of celebration, you know, with, with cornhole, you know, and things like that, keeping everything real family friendly and, you know, and just having alumni back and, and all that stuff. It is such a fun weekend um, just to kind of be a, be with everybody, but also too, at the same time, um, you know, it, it made it nice because we were able to socially distance. We were, were very lucky. We have been on campus all semester, all in-person classes. That's something that's just in general is unbelievable right now. So the fact that we've made it through, we have our hashtag make it to May uh, <laughs> to, so that we keep going strong, you know, but we've been still able to do some of these fun activities and stuff, which make it nice. It's probably one of my favorite uh, fun activities on campus, um, but also a big tradition as well. Okay, at Earlham College, uh the favorite event that I look forward to every year is actually welcoming new students to campus. We have new student orientation as everybody does, but we have um, in the very center of our campus, we have what's called the heart. It's a big grassy area with a sidewalk, very large area. Um, very near to that is our outdoor stage where students begin and end their time at Earlham College. So they process out of a door from Carpenter Hall, one of the older buildings on campus, as a class, you go down the sidewalk, you sit in the chairs under the trees, your parents are on either side of you, all the flags from all the countries represented are up. 
when the mayor talks to you and the president and the deans and the board of trustees, um, it's a wonderful way for you to begin. And then four years later, or if you're a transfer student, however many years you're here, you'll walk out those very same doors with your robe and gown on this time and your hat and walk down the sidewalk. Your parents are on each side of the sidewalk, professors cheering you on, sit under the chairs, walk across the stage, get your diploma. Um, it's just a lovely bookend to your time at the college. So one really unique thing with Pacific is actually 15% of our students come from the islands of Hawaii. So we have a really large Hawaii student population on campus. It's a lot of fun. They bring an amazing culture with them. And so what it means is our actual largest event every year that's been going on, this is supposed to be the 60th year, but we actually have to pause and it'll be 60th next year, is actually a luau and it's all student run. It's actually the largest student run luau anywhere in the US outside of Hawaii. So anywhere on the mainland, we win. And because it's all student run, any student can join the Hawaii club, take hula lessons and actually dance on stage in front of 4,000 people. Um, or if you're like me, that does not sound fun. You go watch your friends dance on stage. Our president of our university, our entire football team has performed before. So it's this really cool way of bringing a completely different culture, honoring the students from Hawaii. But most students from the mainland have never been able to experience a luau and now you get to do it with your friends. So it's a really cool opportunity on campus. I love that. Thank you guys so much for sharing those fun traditions and events on your campus. I would just like to give it to, or have the opportunity to say, um, audience, please look at these professionals on the screen. Um, they are here to help you through the application process, the enrollment process. Um, there are people like them at all the all the schools that you're most serious about, and so don't hesitate to reach out to them as you have questions. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us this evening. As you close out, there's going to be a quick four question survey. We do hope that you'll provide us with some feedback. Sign up for more sessions. There's um, more great schools to see tomorrow. So we hope that you'll join us for additional sessions. This recording and along with the recording of everything that happened tonight will be available at strivescan.com slash Pennsylvania. Good luck with your college search, everyone. Bye-bye.